I'm visiting with Dr. Benjamin Weeks, who is a professor of biology at Adelphi University, and we're talking about vitamin C and its many, many roles. One of the things that I would like to ask you, Dr. Weeks, is water-soluble. Vitamin C, you say, is water-soluble. What does that mean as opposed to fat-soluble? Yes, yeah, some of the vitamins that we need to help run these biochemical processes in our body are what we call water-soluble or fat-soluble. Mm -hmm. And it really is that, that simple. Things that are water-soluble will dissolve in water. Okay. okay. Our bodies are about 70% water. Mm -hmm. And so if something's water-soluble, it dissolves in well with what we're made out of. We do have what are lipid-soluble vitamins, and we do have uh, lipids in our body. They make up the membranes of our cells and the fat tissue that we store. And lipid-soluble vitamins will dissolve into the lipids, not to the water. When we excrete urine, mm -hmm. it's basically salt water, and the vitamin C that we take in can dissolve in the water, filter mm -hmm. through the kidney, and be eliminated from the body without any problem. The lipid-soluble vitamins, being lipid-soluble, won't dissolve in water. Just like lipids and fats don't dissolve in water. Right. Oil won't mix with water. Lipid-soluble vitamins won't mix with water. Well, if they won't mix with water, how can you urinate them out? They won't come out in the urine. So you can eventually metabolize them and degrade them and break them down to a water-soluble form and eliminate them, but it takes longer and they accumulate in the body. That's what I thought. Yes, and this accumulation in the body can lead to you having two toxic levels of the mm -hmm. lipid vitam lipid soluble vitamins well, you can get to toxic levels they say that about vitamin a don't they yes absolutely um, and some of the other mm -hmm. lipid soluble vitamins while we did talk about um, mega doses of vitamin c potentially having problems for the kidney during filtration mm -hmm. it really is very difficult to take in too much vitamin c because it is water soluble and it's not accumulating in your body so what goes in will go out, which is also why it's important to maintain a steady supplementation of vitamin C in your diet. Dr. Weeks, is there a better time to take your vitamin C sometime during the day that's better than others? Yes, there probably are. However, as an absent-minded professor, I find <laughs> that the best time to take your vitamin supplements is in the morning or whenever you can remember. Whenever you can remember. Whenever you can remember, that's the time to take them. So it doesn't have to be taken with food? No. Okay, that would be important to know. All right, thank you very much. You're welcome.